<laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I just I remember everything about the final, you know, as the buzzer sounded. I remember looking at the bench and just screaming and trying to find. I caught it with someone. I, remember, I actually saw Travis and just ran at him and like went crazy. That's, that's, that will be cemented in my mind for, for my whole life. The Indians for the first time in school history are putting on those dancing shoes. They are headed to the NCAA tournament. No question, Will's last windmill dunk. That's what sealed the deal for sure, you know. And we were so hyped on the bench. It was crazy. <laughs> we were just excited, and we loved the feeling and the atmosphere that was going on in the stadium. And it was, it was a lot. A few years before, before I came to college, and I was watching on TV, and they'd win, and the fans would storm the court. You know, I was I was in the middle of that, which is something not many people get to say they've been a part of. So, you know, uh, as a, as you know, I'm extremely grateful for the fans that came, and they, you know, it was it made it so much more special that we had so many supporters there with us for that game. So. It was so crazy the day, um, the day we had, we actually uh, selection Sunday. That was the first day that we were just like, oh my gosh, this is this is it, like we're going. You know, we saw our name on TV, we're playing Louisville. The whole experience in itself, I love that pressure, honestly. Like, it's 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 fun to play in that atmosphere, I think. That's, that's the funnest kind of pressure, is the pressure to win. And that's something that coaches always been pushing from the start of the season. It comes down to when the three games, when the chips are down, how are we going to play? Are we going to give our all? Or are we going to, you know, shy away from the pressure? I feel like we have a team this year that is, is that wants that pressure. You know, we have, we're a very competitive team. You know, we're going to bring it when, it when the chips are down. So, Come, Coming from last year when we lost, and we still got a sour taste in our mouth from last year. And I think this is our chance to redeem ourselves. And we're off to a great start, 6-0 in conference, and hopefully we keep that rolling. And we have our game plan, and we stick to it, and we do what we say we're going to do. You know, we're, we're tough to score on. You know, we have guys who want to play defense and want to and want to win, and we know that to win we have to we have to lock down on defense because we have some good some good scores in this league, so it's a good offenses. So we every you know every game's a new game. We prepare we prepare differently for each game depending on the team we play. So I feel like our commitment as a team and as a program to defense is what is, is what's making us win right now. I think we finally developed our identity. You know, we're a defensive team. That's what Coach Turner preaches. I think we're doing a great job uh, defending. You know, that's how a lot of teams are trying to get their buckets on us in transition, and we know that. So our main key is to try and get back on defense and establish our that presence in the paint, and that's how we build out. I think I think we do a good job in practice of of making sure guys understand like the, there's going to be pressure. You know, so that. They're expecting the pressure of the Big West tournament, so when it comes around, hopefully it's not too alien to them. But then again, never having played in it, there's no way to really prepare for it. Honestly, I want to go undefeated in conference, and then obviously win the Big West tournament, which is all possible, as long as we're, we stick to our plan and we're defending and utilizing teams with our depth. I think we can definitely do it. It's not a far reach at all. And I want to get to that tournament one more time, one more time before I'm gone.